Hello everyone, in this tutorial today I want to show you how we can use Power Automate to send attachments that are saved in a table in Dataverse in a column that called or from a data type files. We have this column is attachments and we have attachments, we can have multiple attachments per application which is a relationship with another table called applications. Uh, as you can see we have the attachment content, it's a file uh, column and this is where we attach the files uh, for multiple records that are related to the parent uh, table, which is applications. We're going to go to the cloud flow and we're going to create an, an instant flow. Give it a name. It will be email attachments and it will be a manually triggered instant flow. Uh, the next step we have here is going to be creating our input. So we will take the input from the user uh, or for this testing, we will enter basically the application ID. Uh, so we're going to call this app underscore ID. And here we're going to enter the application ID to pull the related attachment to this specific entered application. The next action is going to be we will initialize a variable. And this is will be an array type variable. And we will use this array to append or collect all the attachments of that application. So we also like to rename the action. Our next action will be the list rows action of the Dataverse. And here we will go ahead and select our attachments table to pull all the records attachments that are related to the entered application ID. Our table name is table underscore attachment. And the filter that we will use here, we need to use the logical name of our column, which is the application ID, right? So I'm going to go ahead and open a new uh, make that power apps is coming. I need to go to the solution, and this is my solution. Go into the table, go into the table attachments, and in the column, I would like to sort or filter here by my prefix. Uh, quick way to do that. And then what I need here is the application ID underscore value. This is a formula column, as you can see. And because I have a relationship between this table and the application table, I can actually call other columns value from the parent table, as you can see, application ID dot ID. To get the logical name, we go to, to advanced and tools and we copy the logical name. And this is what we need here. So the filter using the logical name of the application ID equal EQ. And then we open single quote and close a single quote. And between both of them, we're going to use the input value, which is the application ID. The next action or the next step we will have, there is a Dataverse action called download file or image. And we will use this action to grab these attachments or file contents in the file column in the attachment table. So we'll select the attachment table. The row ID is what we have grabbed from the previous action list rows. And we will use basically the GUID, which is usually the table name. It's the unique identifier. Now, after we have apply each, we will loop through all returned or retrieved record from their attachment. Column name that we would like to select is the attachment content. You can have multiple columns. And then this is, uh, the column that we have seen in this action. And if you have more, then you will get more columns. Uh, next action inside the loop or inside apply to each is the compose. So we're going to go ahead and select compose. And in the input value right here, after we rename this compose to attachment, what we will have here, we need to have the JSON that we actually can use to capture the file name and the file content. And to do that, we can actually get this JSON from the send email because we want to send this attachment in an email. So if we go and send email action and we open the send email action, if we go to the attachment site and we put just any name and any file content just to get that JSON array. This is the array, as you can see here, and you can see the square brackets. That's what it tells us that this is actually an array. So we only copy the part outside 
or inside these square brackets, not including the square brackets. We'll copy them here. So for the name, we will retrieve this name by using the items of apply each, that's each record in the attachment table, and then we are getting the value. The value, it will be the logical name of my file column underscore name. So we'll go back to our table, get again the logical name of the file type column, and then we'll paste it here as the value to be retrieved underscore name. That's very important. And you hit OK. Then for the content bytes, what we need to do is we don't need the double quotation. In the, in the name, we needed the double quotation, but in the content bytes, we only need the file or image that come out from the action that will load the file or image. Then the next action is going to be append to our array. We have a variable, which is array. So we want to append this in the first iteration. We want to append this value, right, of the compose. So we are passing out the compose value in this case. So if we go down, we have our attachment. That's the compose name. We will pass this. So now in this array, we will have an array of how many attachments that we loop through based on the application. I'm going to use my email. I will put the email as two and the subject we will just put a test for now and also for the body these are required field and then what we do here we'll delete this json and now what we're going to use is our array variable now we're going to save and we are ready to go ahead and test has been saved. Let's actually run a test, manually triggering this flow. And then I will go ahead and enter my application ID. I have one application, one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see here, application with two attachments. I have one application with two attachments. And then I'm going to go ahead and click done. And let's see once the flow is finished running, as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and open our Outlook and see if we have received the email with the two attachments. As you can see here, we have received the email and we have two attachments. We, I have an image and I have a, a, a Word document file. So let's go actually ahead and add another attachment. Uh, just to, to give it another testing. But before we do that, we want to actually speed up the process of the for all. Again, we have the concursing. So I turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and now and add a new attachment. So I'm going to create a new record in the attachment table. I will select my application because there is a one-to-many relationship here. This is my application. Save, and then I can actually select a file. Could be from any format. I can attach it. I have attached a file here, and it's a PDF format. I'm going to go ahead and save, and I will go back now. As you can see, we have three attachments related to the 12456 application. Let's go ahead and run the flow again. We will also enter the same again application ID 123456, run the flow, and let's give it a run. You can see that this time is going to run a lot faster. As you can see, it's done. Three attachments has been already sent to the email. We have received the email and we can see the three attachments as you can see right here. You can explore these attachments. And I hope you enjoy the video.